Hello, this is Dr. Garrett Castleberry, Program Director for Communication, Media, and Ethics at Bidraker Christian University. I am here with a special message for our class in uh, COM 4603, Creating Social Media Presence and Cultural Movements. This video is going to provide an introduction to our guest speaker uh, for the week three schedule in Creating Social Media Presence. And uh, this scheduled interview will take place after the brief interlude in which I will be away for travel. Uh, tentatively, we have the interview scheduled for August 7th, but of course, it's going to be available online in an asynchronous format. So those enrolled in the class will be able to join us in that live setting uh, as we continue to experiment with the UCU interview software. Um, and then those that are unable to join can, of course, log in once it's uploaded and uh, experience the interview, the interaction, the Q &A on, uh, on our YouTube page here. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you know right when it's ready to view. Uh, without further ado, let me introduce our third scheduled speaker. She hails from the state of Tennessee. Uh, yes, a Tennessean, however, she is a Los Angeles denizen now. And I am talking about none other than uh, the Leah Sutherland. All right, so Miss Leah Sutherland is going to join us. And I wanna preview some of the exceptional experiences that Leah brings to the table to our asynchronous interview strategy here in COM4603. Leah does uh, benefit from a communication degree, uh, graduated from the College of Charleston, and uh, then went on after a period of professional work to also graduate from none other than the Second City Improv School in Southern California. All right. So the LA scene where Leah was a mover and shaker as a networker, and I shouldn't use it in past tense because she's still there making waves. All right. So let me break down some of Leah's accomplishments so that we have an understanding of where to craft our questions for this, uh, for this digital engagement opportunity. First of all, when I mentioned an interim period between her communication degree and uh, moving out west, uh, Leah worked as a marketing blogger for, uh, for an, a marketing firm, and uh, we can inquire more about the, the origins and experiences there. We have just been discussing um, the, the need for and the flexibility to enter the workforce and tackle whatever, whatever opportunities come at us. And we're always going to be able to gain from those experiences, whether we find passion there or not. All right, so um, moving on, Leah uh, rolled the dice and risked big on herself, moved out west, settling into sunny Southern California, where she not only attended uh, improv school, but worked her way through it. Multiple jobs, uh, in addition to all of the, uh, the, the social setting and uh, the, the things that it takes to get ahead in a competitive climate, all right? Uh, let's fast forward a little bit and talk about contemporary roles. Leah is a writer, producer, uh, and director of uh, many types of communication, including uh, some work on uh, with regard to some stage productions. However, we're in a media studies setting in this major. And so let's let's fast forward just a little bit and talk about some key uh, some key content that Leah has helped create along the way as she makes a name for herself. Um, Sutherland has helped uh, or served in varying capacities of producer, uh, writer, director on the following podcasts. All right. And this is where we can zero in that that bottom half of our questions, because I know you all will want to ask 
and uh, gain information about podcasting. Uh, the most uh, popular uh, form going right now, I would argue uh, people uh, tend to create more circulation and discourse about uh, podcasting than any particular one type of uh, media experience. But as we know, we all have our focal groups. Anyway, let's reveal some of the accomplishments uh, Ms. Evans had in her career. Uh, she's served in that capacity of producer, writer, and director with Wondery, uh, a podcasting production company in uh, in Los Angeles area. And so uh, I've picked out but three among her list of projects she's been involved in uh, to highlight the variance and uh, also uh, the uh, the opportunities that 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 have that have been set out some of the projects she's most passionate about uh first uh might be the most notorious uh that you all could have possibly heard of uh it's titled dirty john and i know some of you are going to love it because i know your media tastes it is a true crime thriller all right uh we're talking a podcast uh a, a true crime podcast uh, about a, the seedy underbelly of, uh, of the medical world and the people involved, all right? Not only was this a successful podcast, it caught such buzz uh, in the scene in and around LA that this show was then adapted into a cable drama. That's right. It was a program, uh, a miniseries, in fact, not only aired just this past year, but it also was uh, the recipient of several uh, prestigious award nominations. If I, if I recall correctly, uh, uh, numerous key Golden Globe noms, all right? So big time success in translating a podcast source material. So if for those of you that have questioned in the past the value and the power of audio exclusive content, look no further than the success story there. So ask questions, uh, ask Lee about it. Let's let's uh, let's unpack Dirty John, and maybe maybe you have an opportunity to sample some of those episodes. You may have an opportunity to sample the second textile preview of ours, Tides of History. All right, Tides of History uh, is. As its, as its title not only does, but should suggest a history-focused podcast. And, it, and if uh, Dirty John skews toward perhaps uh, uh, a, f a female-centric demographic, then Tides of History swings hard in the other direction and gives us lots of action, lots of suspense, and uh, plenty of historical details. Its main host, uh, I've seen, has also uh, spent time, uh, been, been on at least an episode of Jeopardy, all right? And so you know you're getting some uh, important materials, right, presented through that type of historical or rather history podcast. And finally, um, uh, but not the least, the most contemporary podcast just launched Leah was excited for me to share it. <coughs> so excited I'm losing my voice. It is what's been described as an interview rom-com podcast. The title of it is, wait for it, The Moment. All right. And so The Moment has arrived for you all to sample uh, one or more of these podcasts as you're working on your interview protocol for our week three interviewee, which due to my outside travel has delayed our interview schedule tentatively until the very start of week five, but it's not a problem. It's going to give us that much more time uh, to play with these questions. All right. So get those questions in. And if we can get them in early enough, I'll try to get feedback out before I head out. That way everything's in place, our later drafts, our video discussion prompts, and then we will be ready to rock and roll on the other side of things, look forward to uh, bridging your questions with our guest, Miss Leah Sutherland, uh, for our creating social media presence and cultural movements strategic interviewing series. Thank you.